Hello and welcome to the course of heat engineering. This is lecture 10, non-dimensional numbers. In this lecture, first we will talk about various types of flow. And then we will talk about the various non-dimensional numbers, which are of critical importance in analyzing heat transfer problem. So let us have some discussion on the classical classification of fluid flow. So basically we do classification of fluid flow to ease our work. So in terms of fluid flow over a surface, the, we can say that a fluid flow is an external flow. If an unbounded fluid flow over a surface, is happening such as over a car, over a pipe, over a plate, over a building, etc. All of these types of flow are example of external flow. External flow are unbounded and because of that region, the physics of external flow are slightly different from internal flow. What do you mean by the internal flow? The flow in a pipe or a duct or in a closed environment which is bounded by solid surface are called internal flow. Like the fluid flow in pipe, like the fluid flow in AC duct, like the fluid flow in our veins, all of these flow are called internal flow. If the pipe or the duct is partially filled, then it will be called open channel flow. So, there are different characteristics of internal flow and external flow as far as the boundary layer is concerned. So you can find that there is a ball over which an external flow is taking place. The boundary layer separates and form a large wake region. So to this wake region, drag force generated and because of the wake region, the it may the fluid behind the tennis ball may turn turbulent and increase the heat transfer. Compressible flow and incompressible flow. So in heat transfer we will usually in encounter this incompressible flow. The incompressible flow is the flow in which the density of a fluid particles remains constant. That is, it does not change with the change in pressure. In incompressible flow, the pressure and density are de decoupled and they are not correlated with each other. Compressible flow. If the density of fluid changes during the flow, for example, a very high speed gas flow, the fluid flow over hypersonic vehicles high or high speed aircrafts are compressible flow. Because of the compression of the fluid particles due to waves emanating. So the Demarcation of the compressible and compressible flow are given by Mach number. But the Mach number is the speed of flow over speed of sound. On the basis of Mach number, we can divide the flow into sonic flow, subsonic flow, supersonic flow, and hypersonic flow. The next very important classification of fluid flow is laminar flow and turbulent flow. 
the laminar flow is a very highly ordered fluid motions in which the fluid flow is assumed to move in smooth layers the high viscosity fluid such as oil exhibit laminar fluid flow at low velocity so the laminar flow is dependent upon the null number we will talk about the null number later in this lecture turbulent flow the turbulent flow is the very disordered fluid motion and typically occurs at high velocity and is characterized by velocity fluctuation in turbulent flow the fluid particle velocity fluctuates and it is impossible to rightly predict their motion the laminar and turbulent flow plays a very important role in terms of heat transfer rate the turbulent flow exhibit higher rate of heat transfer in comparison to laminar flow natural or force flow a force flow is a flow over a surface in which some external means are involved such as pump or fan whether a natural flow is due to the natural means such as buoyancy in which the lighter fluid takes place the cooler flow and the process is continued another type of flow is one to and three dimensional flow a one dimensional is said to be flow in which the flow variables for example flow velocity varies in one dimension <coughs> the flow is one dimensional two dimensional or three dimensional depends upon frame of reference so if the fluid flow parameters are varying only in one direction then the fluid flow will be called one dimensional flow for example fluid flow in a syringe can be considered as one dimensional fluid flow of a over a plane may be considered as two dimensional now we will talk about non dimensional numbers the non dimensional numbers are very convenient in studying the various phenomena so non dimensional numbers reduce of our effort by grouping the dimensions dimensional number into a such a way that the group doesn't have a dimension for example nasan number frontal number and all numbers often these non dimensional number are the ratio of two important parameters which occurs in heat transfer or fluid flow the frontal number the frontal number is basically gives the diffusivity of momentum uh, over molecular diffusivity of heat it is nu by alpha where nu is kinematic viscosity and alpha is thermal diffusivity if frontal number is large it means 
that molecular diffusivity of momentum is dominating and the diffusion of heat is less comparison to the diffusion of mass and momentum so in case of frontal number of gases which are merely one which indicates that the diffusion of momentum and heat will be at the same rate so the velocity and thermal boundary layer will coincide with each other the frontal number is one the frontal number is very very less than one it means that thermal diffusivity dominates and the heat diffuses in the fluid very quickly for example for the metal the heat diffuses very quickly in the left side right side you can find the list in which there are different fluids with their frontal number so the liquid met metals have very low frontal number and the glycerin have very high frontal number so the glyc glycerin the momentum will diffuse very fast the frontal number also determines the thickness comparative thickness of the thermal boundary layer and hydrodynamic boundary layer or velocity boundary layer. muscle number is another dimensionless number which is the ratio of the negative heat transfer to the thermal conductance so if you calculate the nusel number it comes as hl by k where l is the characteristic thickness if the nusel number is very high it means convective heat transfer is dominating larger is the nusel number the more dominating is the convection so the nusel number represent the enhancement of heat transfer through a fluid layer as a result of convection relative to the conduction across the same fluid layer finally the reynolds sum the reynolds number is a very important parameters and it is a critical number to decide whether the flow is laminar or turbulent the tendency of flow becoming turbulent depends upon geometry surface roughness flow velocity temperature and the type of Reynolds number is basically the ratio of the inertia forces over the surface. The Reynolds number is very high when the inertia force dominates, and the damping nature of viscous forces are less in the fluid flow. The Reynolds number is given by rho average velocity into characteristic length upon mu. in turbulent flow the reynolds number is often high so a high reynolds number is characterized by the rapid fluctuation of the fluid element so we can also define a critical reynolds number 
the critical Reynolds number is the number at which the fluid flow become turbulent. So this may be different for the different type of fluid flow and it depends upon geometry, surface roughness and many other flow conditions.